<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Day 155. We are dropping off that ridge we camped on down to Fox Creek. And then we're going to start climbing up into the Grayson Highlands. Pretty awesome. And it looks like we're going to have beautiful weather all the way through Grayson, so that's even better. Uh, and we're shooting somewhere. I don't really know where we're going to end up today. In between Wise Shelter and Thomas Knob would be like perfect. I got some really good campsites there, and I'm pretty sure if we're up in that area, we'll be able to get a sunset and a sunrise, which is even better. <laughs> yeah, we're just dropping down to Fox Creek. We're going to grab some water. We're going to start climbing up. We're going to stop at Old Orchard Shelter. It's like two miles from here. And uh, that's where we'll do like our official breakfast coffee, I guess. <laughs> It's a break spot in two miles. And then we're gonna go up. And that's the rundown on the day. And other than that, I don't really know what's gonna happen. You never know. It's all a mystery. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's enough of me this morning. And I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views, you know, just like I do, baby. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. There are horses. They're loud in some places in here. Fox Creek is a busy, busy place. Just as I suspected. Look, all these horse trailers. Hold on, let me zoom in. That was super fast. So there is a porta potty down there too. In case you need to, you know, take care of some business. But there's a privy up here in two miles. <laughs> Yeah, Hilt Park is busy. But you know what I don't see? I don't see any HST stickers in here. Oh, slap some on. <laughs> yeah. We could sticker every one of these things up. I think I got like 10. Road noise. They were looking pretty hard in here. Alright, we're going to climb up to... Old Orchard Lean To. He's trying to be in people's cars. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's go. Let's go to Old Orchard. All right, hey. All right, hey. All right, hey. Fox Creek parking area. No horses on the AT. But there are horse trails. Old Orchard Shelter, everybody. Look at the camping around this place. Look at all the camping everywhere. Privy's over here. Trail goes right here. Time for a second coffee. Yeah, I had one in my hammock. Katie did not. Not yet. We're going to have make it happen right now. Oh, and they got a bear box over here. Boom. That's where we came from. Left Old Orchard Shelter a little bit ago. And now we're climbing up. We're only two miles from the scales though. And the scales is pretty much, that's where I call entering the Grayson Highlands. 
two miles away from beautiful, beautiful trail. Well, Wilburn Ridge, once we get up there, then it's even more beautiful, if you can believe that. Climbing to the highlands. Please keep the gate closed. Group size 10. That's one way to fill the whole shelter area up. <laughs> and so, like any minute now, we should be seeing ponies, Katie. Yeah. What do you think, PR ponies? Oh, he's pulling. He's pulling. I guess you can consider this the Grayson Highlands. I always considered the scales when you get to the scales, but I mean, we are in a gate. This is probably considered the northern part. Sure is pretty in here. Oh, 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 oh. What, please? Wilburn Ridge, three miles. This is the scales, everybody. You can drive up here and just camp. Yeah, that four-wheel drive, I've heard. I don't know how true that is. But as soon as we end the, exit this gate, it looks like we're gonna have ponies. Right, let me zoom in. <laughs> we're going to see some ponies. Check it out. These guys. Soaked us up some trail magic. <laughs> it's the scales. Cookies, bananas, oranges, chips. I don't drink, but if you did, I got enough there to make you stop for the day. Oh, and this is huge too. Trash. What do you think? I think it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Benny? He's like, <laughs> I didn't get it. Yeah. Thank you again, man. This is perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we're leaving the scales. The ponies are right over here. Boom. But there's also horseback riders over there. And the scales, so what I've been told is the scales got its name because they used to bring livestock up here to feed all like spring, summer, and fall or whatever. And then when it came time to sell them, uh, they just sold them up here because they didn't want to walk them down to town and make the cattle lose weight. So they would sell them up here and then whoever bought them, well, they'd already bought them up here and paid for the weight that they weighed up here instead of taking them down and then reweighing them yeah whoever did it was a genius probably a multi-millionaire because of it <laughs> you know an entrepreneur smart huh katie yeah smart farmer 
Yeah, so now we're getting in to the cool stuff. Especially after Wise Shelter, we get up by Wilburn Ridge. Ho, ho, ho. It's gonna be beautiful. It already is beautiful. It is so pretty. Look at this, everybody. Let's zoom in. There we go. That's Wilburn Ridge right there. There's a big shortcut. I'm not going to tell you guys where the shortcut is. Actually, I could. Go up this road from the scales. It cuts off a ton of miles. But you don't see everything that the Grayson Highlands has to offer. Like, I'm pretty sure, well, maybe it doesn't. I don't know if it passes the, if you bypass the Fat Man Squeeze and all. I know you miss a lot of good stuff. But if you want to, you know, walk that ridge. We're going to go around. These things are pretty good. I don't know why I do it to myself with spicy food, but I can't stop. Could just show PR hiking the whole trail. Mm -hmm. I could just video PR hiking the whole trail. Wow. That they're onions? That the GoPro thing? They have onions. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. I got this Cheeto jalapeno cheddar. Thank you, random guy down there. Yeah, thank you. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Couple. Stranger danger. Oh, we do got stranger dangers. Good call, Katie. Stranger danger. Skinny one. So skinny one. Little creek, little Wilson Creek wilderness. The white blades. Skinny. It's pretty right in here. We're getting closer to Wise Shelter. So they moved the trail just a little bit. You just pop out of this road and walk this road down and then turn this way. But they eliminated that. I just used old posts. So this is fresh trail. Oh, pick up your feet, Craig. <laughs> and it's a brand new trail. This was one like this last year when I went through northbound. What's that? Snake. Is it a snake? There's a snake in here somewhere. Little snakey snake. The shoes may be squeaking still, but man, they grip like you would not believe. <laughs> yeah, trail used to go right here. Whew. Used to. Quite a few re this year. Like the Palmerton one. 
this one. There's more that are old. <coughs> oh, not in my wilderness. I got a bug fly in my mouth. <laughs> ah. <coughs> All right. Let me get this thing out of my throat. Ah. It's going to be noises you don't want to hear. So this is the entrance to the state park. No tent camping. <laughs> it says no tent camping. Katie? Katie? It says no tent camping. I said you. You know what, though? We got hammocks. <laughs> <laughs> Wise shelter. Some sun dots. What's up, buddy? You like it? What are you doing? You like it. <laughs> hey, Pierre. How'd you get so dirty, man? You're filthy. Like, dirty, dirty. Yeah. Hey, Katie. Hey. What you drinking? <laughs> Where'd you get one of those in the middle of the Grayson Islands? It found me. Yes, it did. <laughs> Look. It found you. I got one, too. And they brought us a bunch of beef jerky. Did you grab that beef jerky? Yes, I did. Nice. Here. So I believe we're going to catch them here in a minute. They like surprised us. We were hanging out at the shelter waiting for Pierre to get done napping. And they rolled up from Indiana. I think it was Nancy and Don, I think. <sighs> I got so many names up here in my brain, everybody. You have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Katie doesn't know how I remember. Most people don't know how I remember. I got a really good memory, but that was a quick one. I like, I don't know why I didn't. I even asked them, and I guess I wasn't paying attention. But we're going to figure it out again. I'm going to go catch them up here and thank them again and figure out their names for sure. <laughs> I'm terrible, I know. The sun looks crazy. Noise. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Yeah. Oh, there's a big hawk up there. Ho, ho, ho. Grace Islands has been beautiful today. Hasn't it? Yes, it has been. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's no breeze. It'd be nice if there was a little bit more of a breeze, but I'll take it. No breeze when we're camping tonight, way up here in the elevation. Get a lot warmer. Yeah, this is unbelievable how lucky we got with the weather. We're going to work our way up here.
<laughs> Pony. More ponies. So, oh my God, you're so dirty. We're, we are going to test my memory, everybody. Here we go. Name time. <laughs> what was your name again? Nancy. And? Todd. Todd. See, I did have it right. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's Good for perfect. You. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Great. Perfect. Bring us monsters all the way from Indiana. Yeah. Awesome. Hoosiers. The Hoosiers. <laughs> I, I guess I got to say go dogs now, but... <laughs> That's fine. Skip, <laughs> skip training. I love that one. Uh, Look at all the people around, all the ponies. Yeah, lots of people, lots of ponies. Perfect. All right, we're got like two miles to campsite, so we're just getting moving. They're gonna go back to the car this way because this is where they came up, Massey Gap. Which, if you drive up in here, it's, it's a perfect way to get in here. Yep. So, yes. thank you guys. All right. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So, just have to turn off for Massey Gap, and we're gonna finish climbing up to the ridge, Wilburn Ridge. And if we can, we're gonna try to find a campsite with a nice sunset spot. And then in the morning, we should be able to get a sunrise too, over by. Thomas now, maybe. I forget. But tonight, if we get up in this campsite in these pines where we got a view behind us, we should get a pretty good sunset. Like two miles away from camp. What do you think? cold oh yeah we're not in the sun so it's chilling down but we're gonna be back in the sun right up on this ridge Amazing. I love the Grayson Highlands. <laughs> huh? They are so beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. <laughs> Brownie points, fellas, pay attention. What a beautiful area. Yes, the rocks move. Some of them. Oh, there's more ponies. There's some ponies. What's up, buddy? I think they're pregnant.
AT South. There we go. Oh, you guys are so pretty. I like the white and brown ones. Should we name them? Harry. This is Harry. What about this one? Sally. Harry and Sally. I don't think this is a hair. I don't think this is a boy. Oh, Harrietta. Harrietta. <laughs> Harrietta, you're so pretty. Oh, look, there's one over there. It just blends in with the mud. That's PR's relative. It is. <laughs> look. Oh, get out of that poop. Come on, PR. Nice. The ponies are so cool. You're so pretty. You are so pretty. All right, Harrietta. And what was the other one? Sally. Sally. When Harrietta, when Harrietta met Sally, they were on this beautiful ridge. Want me to tell the story? <laughs> no, did you hear that, guys? You guys are out of luck. No story time for you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know the story of Harrietta and Sally. What do you mean? Not even the small horses? Pierre, you like the ponies. Oh, yeah. You're going to get dirty? Oh, that's what you need. There you go. Fat man squeeze. Yep. We're entering the fat man squeeze, everybody. PR still pulling. About done with our day, though. Probably less than a half mile left. He's not a fat man. <laughs> Oop. Fat man squeeze. We did it. We did do it. Pretty awesome. I gotta spin you guys around. That's where it came from. Boom. We're less than half a mile from a campsite, which I'm hoping is going to be looking over this way. Time will tell, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Ha 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 ha! What, please? <laughs> What's happening, everybody? End of the day recap, day 145. We left that stealth site just before dropping down to Fox Creek at 513. And now we're sitting at a place called Many Campsites. And there's many campsites here, that's for sure. Four ninety nine point nine makes it a thirteen point one mile day, everybody. And yes, we crossed over five hundred miles left. So yeah, should go by well, pretty quick actually. Five hundred miles <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, that's not much. And over the last couple days has just been Hawk support team galore. So yesterday we had Robert. I forgot to say anything about him, but. Uh, he's been following along for a couple years, and he figured he'd come out and try a four-day section. And if he could do that, he could do a through-hike. So, huge shout-out to Robert for coming out and giving it a whirl. And I think you're going to enjoy it. And then today, this morning, we had Platinum and Sweeper. Or not Sweeper. Yeah, it is Sweeper. Platinum and Sweeper. 
They've been following for years. The grandkids follow pretty awesome. And then Nancy and Todd, I do believe. <laughs> and then last not last but not least is Chris. Uh today as well. Right before we got to the campsite, probably a mile or so. He was sitting up there waiting with some goodies. So thank you guys all for coming out. It's pretty amazing. And it leaves us five miles to get to Elk Garden where we're gonna go in and resupply somewhere tomorrow. Um but yeah, other than that, beautiful day for the Grayson Highlands part one, I guess. So we'll finish it off tomorrow. Uh but yeah, it's beautiful up in here and we had great, great weather, not a cloud in the sky, the wind was super chill. Yeah, it was beautiful. And that's a wrap on the day, everybody. Uh day one forty five, thirteen point one miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.